Yeah, you know, guess where I'm at. Back at the airport. On the way to Seattle. See you later. Emerald City Comic Con. Can't believe I'm back here again. We did it. We're here. We're in the lobby. The uh, Emerald City Comic Con begins with Nick. Start with a little coffee, a little blueberry muffin. Uh, let's see what happens. So calming. It's a Friday at the con. Calm before the storm. <laughs> Where am I at? Number 22. 22. Hey, guys. Good morning. All right, we've got to get you on Snapchat, then. Snapchat. It all begins. Check out, check out, the, check out the folks. What's up, you guys? Emerald City Comic Con, let's go. Also very awesome. Please don't poke any pins in it. On a little break, Nick, we've been signing our asses <laughs> off. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? But well, we're just hanging out, take a little lunch break, and to walk the floor, see what's going on. Uh, roll with us. Yeah, there's some people out here. There are people out here walking around. Craziness. I'm shopping around at cons. I kind of like never know what I'm looking for until I see it. Although Nick says he wants a Pokemon head. If I can find any League of Legend things. I'm gonna get I something. Got you, I got you. You I got? Saw, I saw a Jinx shirt earlier. I Fuck. took a picture of it. I need that fucking Jinx it. shirt. The Jinx shirt is it. essential. Drake, what's up, man? Nothing much. Killing it here. You got this crazy picture of Zuko that I'm gonna bring to a con, and also I'm a big league head, so look at you with the league stuff. I mean, I saw the core, it's like, I'm always trying to bring artists to other cons. Oh, yeah. I'm constantly amazed on how many just amazing artists there are at comic conventions. I mean, literally. Every single artist is friggin' amazing. Like you never see a, a bad artist. It's like you never see if I can draw like one tenth of any of these people here, I would probably stop acting and just draw comics. So fresh. Yo, I found it. I found it. I need me some jinx. He has a jinx in medium. The medium. Yo, I'm such a jinx man. Yo, it's been a long first day. We had a good time. Nick, we're just taking in a little bit of uh, Seattle somewhere. Look at that, fair. Day two, me and Nick venture out of the hotel for breakfast. I got myself a Brie. Uh, wow. Paris. We're uh, walking around. Where are we going? We're in the back. We're in the back. We're in the back hallway of the convention center. We're in the back hallway of the convention center on the way to an interview. Look at the sunshine. There's sunshine out there today, Roy. I know. Ain't that depressing? We ain't going to get to play in that sun. <laughs> Emerald City Comic Con. Keep it rolling. This is our guest. He's the artist formerly known as Rufio. As I'm sure a lot of you know. Rufio's super. I had you as a toy. I had your toy. I was in your bedroom. You, I, Did you have the happy meal? What? No, I don't. I didn't. There was that happy, part. Yeah, of course. This is the thing about the happy meal Rufio is that it was the one you bring to the bathtub and you squirted people with it. No. <laughs> if you want, you can play. Or you I can play. play. You play because I'm I the mean, first boss. You're the first boss. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna fight yourself. No, I mean. So you have played the game. Yeah, I mean, not in decades. <laughs> I have a special treat. Here we go. Secret, 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 secret. Oh, yeah. There it is.
This right here, what's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin is older than you. I know. For sure. I know, actually, only by a couple years. Y'all don't understand about this movie. <laughs> a lot of lessons to be learned in this movie. <laughs> Dude, two extreme days in one car. I know, I heard him. I was like, no. And you have not have DHS. Yo, debut strong in this movie. It is, man. Some Filipinos over here, man. A lot of Filipinos. A lot of Fili Filipinos are strong in this <laughs> part of the country. <laughs> what is this? Laser disc. What the? Okay, so <laughs> Hold on a second. We got Snapchat this. <laughs> Check it out, we've seen VHS's and DVDs and Blu-rays, but what's your name? Georgina. Georgina brought the laser disc, what the fuck? It feels like something from another time. <laughs> we just ate, we gotta go to the party. Whose party are we going to? My party? I don't know if it's my party, I'm on the flyer. We're going to a party. Day three, day three, <laughs> day three. The haze has shown itself. Aaron, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna interview. We are going to have a crazy Emerald City Comic Con panel happening now. Bam! What's up, you guys? How you guys doing? Thanks. Thanks for coming out on a Sunday afternoon. Have you done Emerald City Comic Con? I've never done Emerald City Comic Con. Um, a lot of people that I've met this weekend reminded me that I missed Emerald City <laughs> Comic Con last year. Which, you know, I, I, I hate counseling on cons, um, but you know, sometimes we book movies and stuff like that. But I, I am flattered that people, uh, you know, cared that I missed it. So. Mm -hmm. What is the first voice you remember watching in cartoons where you're like, like, I know that voice, and I really like that voice. What Optimus was your Prime. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, how was your uh, how was your after party last night? Oh, oh yeah, it was fun. Oh, Anyone at the after party with us last night? Woo! Dead Poets Society was one of my favorite movies growing up. Me too. Yeah, me too. So, being with him in the makeup trail in the morning, outside of him being crazy and zany, we would just spend hours talking about poetry. And his favorite poets, my favorite poets, and... He gave me a gift of uh, Leaves of Grass at the end, at the end of the shoot and, uh, and really supported me as a poet. And so I become, a, at that time I wrote, started writing a lot of poetry. I ended up starting a poetry venue in my living room, which became uh, the inspiration, which became Deaf Poetry on HBO and is now the largest poetry venue in the country in Los Angeles. Yeah. I always attribute a piece of that to you know, the support of Robin Williams. Very cool. Thanks. Thank you. And you also continue that uh, with your, your blog. I mean, you've been doing this. I uh, do. You, uh, you put out a lot of poetry through that. Yeah, I do. And especially this is a National Poetry Writing Month. And the challenge this month is like 30 poems in 30 days. And I am. Uh, I didn't do one yesterday. You're a little behind. I'm a little I, behind. I noticed, yeah. But I got one. I got one. I'll write this one for that. goes uh, <laughs> to the cosplayers at the comic convention. I commend you for paying attention, staying up all night. From the wig to the belt, even got the shoes right. <laughs> a poem for my friend who doesn't even bend, but his heart's as big as the rest of them. Plus, he always has my back, makes me laugh because he's funny. And when he told me that his girlfriend turned into the moon, all I could say was, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> Sometimes, 
The feeling of what could have been is so much stronger than what actually happened because the memory of perfection lasts longer. And even though we didn't end up together, it'll never change the fact that you changed my life forever. Sutara. Last one, last one. Last signing, you guys. Last signing. What's up? This, we did it. We did it. We're at the end of the line. All weekend long, and it's 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 Kira and Sherlyn. Yo, I heard there were some Weasley brothers over here. The twins. I don't see no Weasley brothers. Where are they at? Back for conversate. Eight minute conversation with Asian Americans. This month we have filmmaker Johnny Lee, who's an old friend of mine, and then we also have an older friend of mine, Taboo from the Black Eyed Peas. What's up, y'all? 